Terrifier 3, first reactions land online. I can't wait to jump into this with you guys and see what people are saying about this movie because apparently it's more sick, more twisted, gory, all kinds of crazy than the previous two installments. And for those of you who have seen the first two installments, you know just how bonkers, off the chain, ridiculous this franchise can be. And apparently this third movie dials up another 10 notches and makes it even more insane than it already is. So let's jump into this comicbookmovie.com article, let's break down some news about the movie, then we'll jump into those reactions and we'll see what people have to say about this movie. So, Terrifier 3, first reactions call unrated horror prequel, sickening, depraved and blasphemous. So that's three words right there that sum up this movie, so um, you know, go in, prepare to be seeing these three things here, and um, you might have yourself a good time. <laughs> so the first reactions to Terrifier 3 are in. Following the world premiere at the Fantastic Fest, and it sounds like the horror fans are in for a twisted treat this Halloween. Absolutely twisted is definitely one of the words you would use to describe this franchise. So, director Damon Leone has repeatedly stated his upcoming threequel will up the ante when it comes to the franchise's signature extreme violence. Depending on your tolerance for genuinely sickening gore, this could be viewed as either a promise or a threat. But one thing seems certain from these social media reactions, Leon was not exaggerating. So in recent months when he's been talking about this movie, dialing up the ante, making it even more crazy, even more gory and sickening, it wasn't just rhetoric to uh, market the movie, he was true to his word and based on these reactions he's definitely done what he set out to and made an even crazier film than the first two installments, which is, yeah, just absolutely insane. So though it sounds like there might be uh, some story issues, yeah, when I mean, when you go into this kind of movie, you don't expect Oscar caliber performances, you're just there for the kills and the gore and kind of the craziness, you don't, the story kind of takes a bit of a backseat, whether that's right or wrong in these kind of movies, um, people aren't really there for an in-depth story, they're there just for the kills and the kind of the brutality and the craziness. Uh, those who got to see the movie were full of praise for the latest slasher fest. And the consensus seems to be that Leone has delivered on his promise of a follow-up that surpasses the brutality of the previous films, if that's even possible. So if you have seen the first two films, prepare yourself for even more crazy, even more unhinged, kind of off-the-chain Art the Clown in this third installment, because you ain't seen nothing yet, apparently. <laughs> so let's go down and check out these reactions, and let's see what people have to say about it. So Terrifier 3 is easily my favourite of the series so far. But it wouldn't be what it uh, wouldn't be what it is without the first two films. The story continues from the second movie, adding depth that only comes from building on what came before. It's way more than just another gore fest. So, um, Terrifier Three goes there and then goes 54 steps further, an absolute splatter fest of unseen proportions. That sounds insane. Uh, the shower scene will go down in history. Laura Lavera is such a great lead. Lots of twisted and neat toe dips into the lore. Getting very Hellraiser up in here. Damn. <laughs> Terrifier 3 is everything you want. If you're a fan of the franchise, it nicely blends the tone of the previous two while pushing the lore and characters forward in interesting ways. Oh, and it's brutal as fuck. <laughs> and it's brutal as fuck. Um, it, looks at, uh, it looks at every boundary and crosses it with a twisted smile. <laughs> So it seems like they are developing the character somewhat and the story, which is great, pushing it forward narrative-wise. But they are kind of dialing up the craziness as well. It's brutal as fuck. I love that. That's great. So um, Terrifier 3 is truly evil, and I mean that in the best possible way. Grindhouse beyond Grindhouse. Truly sickening practical effects mixed with a lore that is getting more and more intricate. I don't know how Damien Leone tops this. Laura Lavera, uh, the final girl. So yeah, it says here, uh, truly sickening... Um, What's that? Truly sickening practical effects mixed with lore that is getting more and more intricate. So like it was saying in the previous um, reaction as well, that they're adding more to the lore, more to the narrative. They're pushing it forward. So they're obviously developing it. They've probably got future plans in mind, you know, for the next maybe three or four movies. They're going to build out a whole kind of massive franchise around this character. And they should do because he's a great character. So Terrifier 3 was without question the most disgusting, gory, vile thing I've ever seen. I kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> I love that. Let me read that again. Terrifier 3, without question, is the most disgusting, gory, vile thing I've ever seen. And then you expect him to say, I never want to see it again. But it says, I kind of enjoyed it. <laughs> I really, really like that. 
And again, this poster here, we checked out this poster on the channel the other day, guys, and kind of did a bit of a breakdown on this poster. It just shows you everything you need to. You know, Santa's face is cut off. He's wearing it as a scarf and uh, covered in blood with a chainsaw. Oh, it's just... What what am I even talking about right now? Um, Just got out of Terrifier 3. Wow. If you thought the Terrifier team couldn't go further um, after part two, you'd be dead wrong. Bloody and blasphemous in all the right ways. So, um, a sick twist on Christmas, uh, sick twist on a Christmas movie. Santa art provides new ways to deliver antics without repeating the past. Each kill sequence delivers something new, gnarly, and memorable. A worthy follow-up and escalation of the series. So, again, it sounds like, you know, they've done a great job with this third movie. It sounds like fans of the franchise are happy with what's going on. They're building out the narrative. They're building out the universe. They're expanding on it. They're making it gorier and crazier. And it sounds like fans are really, really happy with what's been done here. Terrifier 3 builds out the lore by answering questions raised in 2 and teases more. It doesn't just rehash 2. The characters were changed by the previous film. The tone is different. It's meaner and less playful. There's still a dark humour. Some people will miss the tone of number 2. So the tone, it's a different tone from um, the second movie apparently, but that's what you need to do in order to keep the franchise fresh. You need to switch up the tone, switch up, you know, switch up things every now and again, make it fresh, make it different in order to get new audiences on board. You, you can't just keep rehashing the same movie over and over again. Um, so it definitely sounds like they went for a different tone in this movie, which is a good thing, I think. So, holy shit, nothing will prepare you for the beautiful brutality that I just witnessed on screen. Terrifier 3 is one of the most vicious films I've seen in years. I already want to see it again. <laughs> I love that. People are saying that it's really vicious and brutal, but they like it. They want to see it again. Uh, Terrifier 3, six new posters. Um, Terrifier 3, six new posters. Okay, that doesn't really give us a whole lot there. So, the synopsis, after surviving Art the Clown's Halloween Massacre, Sienna and her brother struggle to rebuild their shattered lives. As the holiday season approaches, they try to embrace Christmas spirit and leave the horrors of the past behind. However, just when they think they're safe, Art returns, determined to turn their holiday cheer into a new nightmare. Terrifier 3 arrives in theatres next month. Do you plan on checking it out on the big screen? And there was a couple of comments down here on the article that I just wanted to read. Um... It's impressive how much life this indie horror franchise has gotten in the last few years. And it isn't just ty um, uh, years. It's impressive how much life this indie horror franchise has gotten in the last few years. But it just isn't the type of horror I as a fan enjoy. It's just the shock value and gore with no substance. This is some potential story wise. But Damien suffers from the Zack Snyder syndrome. Excellent visual effects and excellent set pieces. But horrible writing and directing. Um... Yeah, I guess a lot of people could say that, but then again, like I said, a lot of people are there to sort of enjoy the kills, enjoy the craziness, the horror aspect, and that's kind of what they're there for, kind of like the writing, the narrative and stuff. Yeah, that's great to have a really fun narrative and kind of have the lore um, behind Art the Clown and stuff, that's great, but I think most people just care about the kills and the kind of the funness of that kind of brutality and the goriness and stuff, and... In these kind of movies, the narrative isn't mega, mega important. You can have a fun lore that builds out the character from movie to movie, and that's great. Kind of like what they do with Friday the 13th. But when I go to watch like a Friday the 13th movie, for example, this is just me. You guys may be different. I don't go... When a new movie's coming out, I don't think, oh yeah, I really hope I get some great narrative. I hope I get some Oscar caliber performances. I really hope they have some interesting dialogue in this movie. That's, no, like, not, most general movie going audience, when they think of a slasher, they don't care about that. Is the, is the main villain fun? Are the kills going to be interesting and fun as well? Is there going to be loads of gore in it? You know, what kind of um, crazy kind of brutality and gore and kills can we expect? Like, the, the kind of the narrative and the dialogue and the acting aspect kind of takes a bit of a backseat. It does, but with these low-budget horror films, you can get away with having kind of a bad narrative, bad acting, and kind of a bad story. If the kills are fun, if the main villain is fun, and everything else, that's kind of what most people are looking for. But that's just me. Like I said, you may be different, guys. And that's kind of my take on the whole kind of low-budget horror franchises. But yeah, so that's kind of the first reactions there, guys. Let's just go down again. Um, where was that really cool one that we read? Um, oh, and it's brutal as fuck. <laughs> Let's finish off on that. 
But guys, that's just some of the first reactions there. There's a lot more floating around on X or Twitter, whichever you want to call it. So go over to X or Twitter, just type in Terrifier 3 and it will come up with a whole load of them. You can go and read more into this and read more reactions if you want. I just wanted to go through this with you guys, get a sort of a small sample side to see what people are saying about the third installment in this franchise. It sounds like it's crazier, more unhinged, more deadly, just more carnage. And it sounds like they're building up the lore ever so slightly and moving the narrative forward, which I said, which like I said, can take a back seat, but it's great that they're still doing it. So it sounds even more unhinged than the previous two installments. Guys, I throw it off to you. Jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Are you excited to see the third installment in the Terrifier franchise? Or do you have absolutely no interest in watching this kind of gore porn, if you like? Whatever your thoughts are, can't wait to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.